Hi guys, welcome back to Sleeve Saturday. You know, this week, Queen legend Brian May confirmed that he was in talks for a sequel to the 2018 Queen biopic, Bohemian Rhapsody. A movie that introduced Queen to a whole new generation of fans and grossed nearly a billion dollars while at it. That was big bucks for a movie that isn't a superhero flick or part of a franchise, you know, like Top Gun, for example. But I think a sequel to Bohemian Rhapsody is a terrible idea for all involved. Do we need a part two? Well, no, definitely not. And I'll tell you why in a minute. It is, it, it is going to be difficult, especially with uh, Bohemian Rhapsody being um, as large. Now look, first off, when the original movie was announced, I was super hyped. Like going to see the Eagles live. Seeing a movie like this with my dad was just another opportunity for a father-son bonding experience. I grew up on his Queen LPs and we both adore this band. Overall, the original movie was pretty good, but it did play fast and loose with the band facts and timelines. So it wasn't really what you would call a true biopic. Narratively, it was probably 80% accurate, but it did put a high shine on things. While it did deal with Freddie's struggles respectfully, tonally it was a bit uneven in parts and leaned a bit too heavy on the comedic flavour at times. The band almost came across as, you know, kind of caricatures of themselves at different points. And what is it? I'm in love with my car. But when this movie was good, it was great. Remy Malik understood Freddy and nailed the characteristics and the voice. The way Live Aid was recreated with clever camera work that would have been impossible to achieve in 1985 was truly outstanding. For footage that is so well known, to replicate it from a new angle and show it in an exciting, fresh way, it was just thrilling. But the movie ended there on a high note and a feel-good factor of a band at the very top of their game. A rock performance that could never be equaled. Now this week, Brian May has said that following the film's climax at Live Aid, Queen were far from finished and there was more story to tell. Look, that is true to a degree. The year after Live Aid, Queen played massive sold-out shows back in Wembley and there was three more albums released before Freddie died. On that last record before Fred's death in the music video for These Are The Days Of Our Lives, his physical illness to the scourge of AIDS was visible. While those years between 85 and 91 are part of the band's history and Malik does have the acting chops to pull it off, I don't think the tone they set up in the first movie lends itself to this bleaker material. Yes, it would be a very worthwhile story to tell, but would it be entertaining to the audiences who showed up for Bohemian Rhapsody five years ago? What worked in the first movie was it showed the band in their prime, their decline, and then their ultimate redemption at Live Aid. In a mainstream movie, this worked and sent audiences home happy. Now, plenty of times before, and even more recently in movies like The Whale, which show people at their lowest, audiences do embrace that. But the tone of the first flick doesn't lend itself to this for me. Then even if you deal with that in the best possible way, what then? We get a recreation of Brian and Roger on breakfast TV after Freddy's death? Then onto the tribute gig in 92 back at Wembley, then the Paul Rogers years, then the musical, then the Adam Lambert stuff. Look fine, all of this is the journey that Roger and Brian have been on since Freddy's death. But how does that lend itself to a movie as exciting as the original? I mean it just doesn't. There are plenty of great documentaries out there that tell those post freddy stories and they've all done it justice. But to make a full feature film based on this timeline, following the vibe that they set out in the first movie, would just be jarring and frankly not as entertaining in this format. I'm curious though guys, what are your thoughts? So let me know in the comments and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time.